Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you actually know and, and grasp the magnitude of the benefits we have from Sunday? Hallelujah. His benefits are just out of sight. Yeah. And you know what? Yesterday I got called. Sometimes other people's testimonies can make you remember and bring to you what the benefits of serving him is. Yes. We're in, we're in more control than we think we are. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Sister Molander, a pastor's wife in California, called me. And she said, you know what? I just need to testify to you. She said, you give this to Brother Reynolds and maybe he'll preach it. And I said, I was like, no, he's not going to. <laughs> so, you know what? She told me, she said, my husband was dying with cancer. And they sent hospice to the house. And they said, this is going to take six to nine months. And they set his little potty chair around him. And they piled up the diapers and all the stuff that he was going to need for this process. And when the doctor left, he said, Pat, you know how to get into the throne room. Yes. Now, I am going to take six to nine days. And that's all I want. Yes. So I am too weak to do this. So you get into the throne room and you take care of this for me. You know how to do it. And she went into the throne room and she came out and she said, Okay, Lord, the Bible Ted. The Lord said that that would work. And so the nurse came in on the fourth day to start working the transition. Yeah. And she called her authority and said, the transition's already started. Amen. Hallelujah. And he was Hallelujah. gone before the six days. Yes. Wow. Hallelujah. You know what? Jesus. The, the benefits of God. Right. You know what? We have more control than we think we do. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 And after they buried him, she came up with a tumor in her neck. And the, her mother and sister died with that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so she went to the doctor and they scheduled a surgery. And she said, Well, if that throne room visit worked for Brother Molander, mm. then that throne room vis visit ought to work for me. All right. So she went to the throne room Hallelujah. with the Lord. Yes. And he asked her, He said, Do you want to go or do you want to stay? Mm -hmm. She said, Well, you know what? My girls need me. All right. I think I'd like to stay. And so the next morning when she woke up, it shrunk. Yeah. Yeah. The next morning, it shrunk some more. The next morning, it shrunk some more. So she said her family was also worried because they're not all doing too good. And she said they were all so worried about all this coronavirus and, and all these uh, riots and all of this stuff. And they got together in a meeting and said, what are we going to do? Hallelujah. And they were all sitting around thinking, what are we going to do? And a vision Hallelujah. to Sister Molander came Hallelujah. of Brother Molander. Hallelujah. And he said, if you will go to Philadelphia... You guys will be okay. And she said, Philadelphia is in bad shape. They got stuff going on down there. Yeah. And she said, then it dawned on me. He's talking about the church of Philadelphia. Yeah. Go find out what they're doing. And you guys are going to be okay. Yeah. You know what? He's looking out for us. COVID. I thought I was going to die. Wow. Yes. And I told my husband, honey, it's me, you, and Jesus. Yeah. Don't take me to no hospital. Right. 
Yeah. Me and you and Jesus is going to go through this. That's right. And if I'm going to go, I'm going to be with you Jesus when I go. Yeah. Hallelujah. And so I took it. And yeah. you know what? I went through six weeks of it, and I didn't think I was going to die. I had nine days of solid fever. My goodness. But you know what? If we trust him, yeah. if we trust him, yeah. you know what?